Hey, what's up everybody? F. Kenneth again, and you're probably looking at these pieces and wondering, what am I up to? Well, you see that little bottle of um, acrylic gesso to your right, or is it my right, your left? I don't know. Well, to this video, I'm calling, I'm going to call it just so just so <laughs> yeah i like that too um i need new canvas so long story short these pieces that you see before you are older pieces of mine that mm, didn't quite make the cut so yeah i'm about to just so these babies out so yeah they're about to become new canvases for new projects. So, I'm going to get ready and probably come back to you. Stay tuned. Okay, so here I am with the first piece I'm going to gesso. And if you thought this was going to be one of those nice and pretty videos yeah, I'm sorry to dis disappoint you, but it's not. So, I'm just going to do this. And we're going to jump right into it. My objective here is simply to get this canvas covered. And I know there's different um, videos on how to use gesso. Um, some people say you should put it in coats like or layers. Do one layer, layer, let it dry, come back, do another layer. Uh, I don't know why I can't talk today. Layer, let it dry. You know, and then some say you can just um, apply it on, um, apply it, and then let it dry and sand it with um, sandpaper. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm not that patient. <laughs> I don't have time to do all that. So, then there's people like me who say you can use it. You can put it on without using the sanding. Without sanding it. So, okay. Obviously, I'm going to have to put another coat on that because if you look really good, you can still see the, um, the painting behind it, which brings me to another point with gesso. Um, if you use it real lightly on the painting, it creates a nice little backdrop or silhouette for you. For your pieces so that's another way you can use it um so what i'm going to do i am going to let that dry and i'm going to let that particular coat on this one dry and i'm going to start on the next the next piece okay here's the next piece and Believe it or not, I've just sold this one before, so I guess this particular canvas just isn't working out for me, no matter what I try and do with it. So I'm going to do it, then I'm going to do the rest of them, and I'm going to come back to you guys. Okay, I am coming back one more time. So I have all the all the pieces that I showed you be at the beginning of the video. Um, I've done each one in one layer of gesso and as I mentioned earlier 
if you look good enough, and I'm hoping this shows up pretty good for you guys, even with this first layer, you can still see the original work behind it. It creates like a, a film. And you can either let that first layer dry completely and go over it with another layer um, and keep doing that until the, the previous painting that you had is completely uh, completely covered up and it's nothing but a, a white canvas. Or the cool thing about gesso, or you can take that first that first layer and let part of that previous um, that previous painting show and create something on top of it. So yeah, gesso really does have a lot of different uses. Um, it just depends on what you really want to do with it and you know so it's another um, it's another medium I would say play around with you know so okay I'm gonna go um, some of these I'll probably go back over and completely white out and I don't know I might play with a couple of these myself with these um, with these with the one layers so yeah that's my video on um, just so hope you guys like it um, don't forget to follow me on facebook uh, my artist page is the art of f kenna uh, so just go to facebook google that my website which i will be updating very soon is um fkennethart.com and of course follow me on youtube at um dang it what is my art page um f kenna art you know all right, better yet, just hit the subscribe button on this video and you're good. All right, talk to you guys later in the next video.